This is Cringe, Sharp, Briggs, and VT. We want the touchdown. We not trying to go for three. And it's best if you get up out the street because them bulls out the pen and they about to stand. Lovey, who was a compromise candidate, it was such a fiasco last year when Jack Easterby pushed so hard for two years to get Josh McCown hired. Five years from now, Josh McCown may be the best coach in the NFL, but he needs to start at a lower level and work his way up. But he'd been friends with Easterby over the FCA, very religious like Easterby for a long time. And Easterby did everything he could to get him that coaching job, and he almost pulled it off. You know, Brian Flores was the first to interview, and he added them to the lawsuit saying that he didn't think he got hired because of racism. And I said, he didn't get hired because they were on our Josh McCown. It's hard to charge racism when you end up hiring a black coach. So it was a fiasco, plus you had all the Watson stuff. It was something new about Watson every day. And a coach they really liked among the ones they interviewed, Jonathan Gannon, defense coordinator of Philadelphia the last two years, 40 years old. He's going to get a job, and I'm assuming he's going to go down to the wire as one of them here although I think they'll go offense. And uh, and so then when they were about to name McCown, there was great controversy in the organization with a hierarchy because we were killing them in the local media, getting killed in the national media about Josh McCown. I felt bad for McCown. wasn't his fault. I mean, if you offered a guy a job for like $3 million a year and you never coached beyond high school, who wouldn't take it? But if they'd have hired him, Jack Easter, he'd been in his ear every day. Hey, bud, you owe me. Let's pray about it. And from what I understand, Hannah McNair talked to Cal about it. Then she talked to Nick about it. And they all stepped back. Not one person. Cal did not say, you cannot do this. It's not his style. He doesn't do that. And they took a step back and they said, okay, Here's what's going to happen if we do this. We need to do something else. And one of them, Nick Casario, said, well, let's talk to Lovey. Ask McNair's, what would you think, Lovey? Two-time NFL coach, former coach of the year, Super Bowl. He's right here. So they said, okay. They asked Lovey if he was interested. He said yes. They interviewed him informally on Sunday night. And then they interviewed him formally. On Monday, they announced him late Monday, and they introduced him on Tuesday, and he brought a calming influence to all the turmoil that was going on. So Casario signed off on it, just like he signed off on uh, on uh, David Culley. But this is the first time there will be a quarterback hire with no strings attached, no turmoil, strictly Casario. And anybody that thinks that Casario should be fired when he's been on the job two years to me is, is I think I use the term nincompoop who's <laughs> pointless because what would you want when you come in, you didn't have a first round pick the year before you don't have first and second round picks. Your cap situation is terrible. You have the controversy over Watson, no creation by you. You have a first time head coach who's never been a coordinator and the owner says, tear it down and start over. And why would you want that guy who's been on the job now two years fired with four years left on his contract? I think he did a great job getting out of the Watson situation with the picks. He used one of those on Damian Pierce. He's got two first-round picks, five in the first three rounds. He's got 11 overall, 10 next year. He's got the cap problem cleared up. I saw a thing on the Internet that I'm going to use in my column. Somebody has a formula, and they figured it up about the cap contracts that can be redone and draft capital and the Texans were in the best spot of any team in the league. And that's because of Casario, but we're going to run him and do what? Hire who is GM? This is Crim Sharp Riggs and VT. We want the touchdown. We're not trying to go for three. And it's best if you get up out the street because them bulls out the pen and they about to stampede.